So today we're going to learn how to perform alpha beta pruning in artificial intelligence. So first let's introduce the variables we are going to use to perform this. First we have alpha which is updated by a max node, beta which will be updated by a minimum node, and v which is our current node value. So here are some rules we're going to use for performing the pruning. V is a value which will be passed upward in our min-max tree, and alpha and beta variables will be passed downward in the tree. We will update alpha and beta according to the following two rules, where alpha is the maximum value of V, the current node value, and alpha and beta will be the minimum of V and the current beta value. And we will prune when the value of alpha is greater or equal to the value of beta at that current node. So alpha and beta values are initialized to minus infinity and infinity and we will start traversing the tree from left to right in order to update the variable values. Like we said in the earlier slide alpha and beta will be passed down the tree. So now that we pass down the alpha and beta values we will start traversing the tree and updating the variable values alpha, beta, and v. And after that, we will be able to prune branches where alpha is greater or equal to beta. Value 6 of the leftmost node will be passed up to the parent node, which is a max node. And because we are at a max node, we will update the alpha value by taking the max value of v and alpha. So we will take the max of v, which is 6, and alpha, which is minus infinity, and thus our new alpha value is 6. We can check if alpha is greater or equal to beta, and of course we will never prune before we update beta, because no value will be greater or equal to infinity. We will continue to the right node of the same subtree, and because its parent node is a max node, we will not update v or alpha because 6 is greater than 4, and as a result, alpha will remain 6. Like we said earlier, v is passed up to the parent node. So the v of our parent node, which is a minimum node, will be 6. Now, because we are at a minimum node, we will update our beta value. We will take the minimum of infinity and v, which is 6, and thus the new beta value will be 6. And now we will continue to the right subtree. Alpha and beta values are passed down to the child node in the subtree that is marked in the orange square. Now we'll look at the left child node of the max node, which is 8, and we will update the v according to the left node. So v will now be equal to 8. We will now update the value of alpha. Because we are at a max node, alpha will be updated to the maximum value of v and the current value of alpha, which is minus infinity. So alpha will now be equal to 8. We can now check if we can prune the right branch. We can see that alpha is greater than beta. Thus, we can prune the right branch of the subtree. We pass v upward, but 8 is greater than 6. So v in the parent node remains 6 and is not updated. We continue to pass v upward 
to the root node and v will be updated to 6. The root node is a max node, so alpha is updated to 6. And then alpha and beta are past nim. Once again, we will traverse the right subtree from left to right and update alpha and beta values, where we will check each time if we can prune the branches according to the alpha and beta values. We will update V to 3 according to the left child node. We then update alpha by taking the maximum value of V and alpha. Thus, alpha remains 6. We continue to the right child node, and V and alpha are not updated because 2 is less than 3, and the parent node is a max node, so we need the maximum value of the two child nodes. We then pass the value V upward in the tree. We will now update the beta value according to the minimum of the current value of beta and the value of V. So beta is now updated to 3. We can see that alpha is greater than beta and therefore we can prune the right subtree. So that is all. We have completed the alpha beta pruning of our minimax tree. We can see that we pruned a total of three leaf nodes. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions, you are welcome to comment down below. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel.